What are you doing? <laughs> okay, ready. I'm laughing now. You can't do that to me. My name is Raymond Warner. We're at the Wildemar Scooter Zone. I'm going to teach you guys how to bar spin. My name is Raymond Warner. Uh, I manage the new scooter zone in Wildemar, California. We just opened up last Wednesday, and we're all ready for business. Come check it out. Hi, my name is Raymond Warner. We're here at, where are we? <laughs> Irvine oh. Auto Center. This is my how-to. Go, dude. It's my how-to app. And, you. uh... Oh, damn it, dude, you gotta jump! Hi, my name is Raymond Warner. We're in uh, Riverside at the Scooter Zone in the workshop. The sickest workshop ever. Yep. <laughs> 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 Not bad. Or he usually stops right about here, so we'll just go ahead and collect the money. Right <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Twenty bucks to do a two in a row. Oh, 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 dude! This isn't even a box anymore. It's just a takeoff. <laughs> No you just told me to give you a tour. No scooters on plugs, though. We can't see that. No, dude. What the? Hey, you guys ever see Ray uh, get in a wrestling match on his own video vlog? You ain't, I ain't scared. It's about to go down. I ain't scared. He tries to jack up the ramp. I want to hit his like a football player. <laughs> Seriously, right? Dude, how is that? We oh! <laughs> I didn't even go right here. Scooter Zone has been a massive part of my life throughout the past 13 years. It kickstarted my scootering career, and I wouldn't be where I am today without it. James has been an incredible mentor, leader, and father figure to me personally. But right now, I want to take you guys on a little journey and show you some of the times that I've had with my family at Scooter Zone. 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 Oh. <laughs> See, my sticker kills your sticker. Jeez. This is heavy. My name's Ryan Gould. I am 28 years old. I've been riding scooters for 15 years. And I've been on Scooter Zone for 10. Long, long time. Favorite moment with Scooter Zone, dude. I think that's kind of a really hard question to ask me, anyone, Darger, like Julio, all those guys that have been involved with Scooter Zone since pretty much the beginning. There's too many to count. Like, cause you work every day. You work with some of your best friends every day, right? So every day you're making memories. You know, we're fooling around at the shop, calling up the other dudes, fooling around on the phone, going on trips together. Like it's, like there's an endless amount of memories. I don't know that I could sit here and tell you like the one best memory. I think the best memory is just being involved with Scooter Zone for as long as I have been. I've met some lifelong friends. I have some friends that are gonna be in my wedding. Like it's pretty surreal to see this thing come full circle. But I guess just like to not go off on a tangent, just, just, just being involved with Scooter Zone in general, I think is my favorite memory. The trips, you know, and then also like the young, the young crew, like Branson, Ryland, like seeing those kids grow up and, you know, turn into employees, turn into pro riders, guys winning contests, like just being involved in general, I think is what I will cherish the most from the whole deal. So I was an employee of Scooter Zone for like six years. I was an AM rider at the time and, and Ray hooked it up and kind of like pushed James to, to let me start working there. I was working there a couple hours a week for the first month or two and then all of a sudden, Ray's in Australia, so guess who's the manager of the shop? <laughs> you know, like that's exactly like, if you know if you know James, if you know Ray, if you know Darger, if you know Julio, like all these guys, um, definitely leaving some dudes out, but if you know anyone that's related to Scooter Zone, has anything to do with Scooter Zone, you know that's not very surprising. Raymond's dead. That, that was the first thing that went through my mind, because I was like, <laughs> Raymond was here last. Steven Gerlot, and also I'm best known as uh, the custom scooter book guy over at Scooter Zone. How I got actually kind of hired on there, I'm not sure if Raymond actually knows this. I was over there helping Ryan. He got an insane rush. And uh, he was selling scooters, selling scooters, selling scooters. And then there was a customer that was looking around and they were asking questions about a scooter and then I ended up kind of piecing the whole custom together and 
ended up selling them like a $400, $500 scooter. I worked there for about eight years. And so I've seen a lot of things that Scooter Zone has to go through. Um, I've seen Megazone V1. I've seen Mini Zone, Megazone V2. I managed a shop over in Wildemar. Started my YouTube channel over there. Yeah, it was it was a dream job, and I would never have uh, I never could have asked for a better job. My favorite moments at Scooter Zone. Um, probably Megazone V1. Probably the balloons. That video took Raymond and I like five hours to film. Favorite memory that I've ever done with Scooter Zone was the Scooter Zone Am Jams. That was my first ever competition I ever rode in. I remember it because they had the jam going on. It was heat three, I think. I went in intermediate. People were doing like buttercups and stuff. And I decided to go into intermediate because I think I was sick because I just learned how to freaking double whip. I go into do a tail whip over a pyramid. I fall my first trick. It was cool. And then I was wondering what my place was and I got close to dead last. But it was okay because it was the biggest adrenaline rush I've ever had in my life. Hi, my name is Raymond Warner uh, with the Scooter Zone. And um, I'm gonna be teaching you my favorite trick, uh, inverts. Oh, dude, what the? Whoa! That was so cool! Ah! Gnarly. Is it? Ah! <laughs> James, say it was good. That's what you get. Check out what this thing turned out like right now. They got all the framing done. They, and this is only two days worth of work that they did. This is two days. Oh, we're gonna have a problem. Oh. Uh, that, was, that one was a little sketch. So this whole deal is like pretty, pretty crazy. And I don't know that I can really put into words how much I appreciate everything James has done for me. Being involved with Scooter Zone and, and making a little bit of money kind of got me to where I'm at now as far as, you know, striking up a new job with one of my best friends, Cody, and, and that whole thing. It's crazy, like James has been, I don't know that I would really go to the, the extent of saying father figure, but it is quite something like that in a different part of my life. Moving on to the next chapter of Scooter Zone, this is crazy. Like, I think as you get older and, and the kids watching this and stuff, like, you really understand that life is kind of a crazy thing. And, and if you really take it for what it is and you look at it, you look at your past and see where you are from then, this is one of those moments where you look back on and it's, I think, the best definition of surreal. Like, dude, you ride for Scooter Zone. There were some hard times for Raymond when he was young. And I won't, I won't go into it because that's his business, but when you are this close to someone and you see where they started to where they are now, minus the Scooter Zone thing, you can't be more proud of a guy. And then he goes out and does this. And you've got to understand that it's more than like, you know, him owning it, him running it. it. It's way more than that. It's something that Ray wanted to do to give back to the sport, and this is a really great way to do it. Keep something that's been in the sport for a long time and keep it going you know, James is passing on the torch to probably the best person to pass the torch to. Give it away, you could sell to anyone, but why not pass it on to the guy who's been there since day one, right? There's nothing cooler than this. There's really not anything cooler. Like, you can't really ask for much more in life. I'm super stoked for Raymond, I'm super stoked for James. I know for James it's gonna be a little bittersweet, right? Because it's his baby. It's crazy to me, like, my brother's gonna work there. As an older brother, this is, this hits me right here, man. Like, this is like a really cool thing. That's how I grew up and how I learned to be, you know, it taught me a lot of life lessons and I'm really excited for my brother to, to experience those with Raymond. I guess what I'm really trying to say here is, is I'm excited for everyone and I can't wait to see where this goes and, and I hope Ray keeps me around. I believe everybody in the world has a purpose and I also believe that sometimes that purpose is something that you would have never thought was going to enter your life. I don't think James ever thought that one day he was going to be a scooter shop owner and he was going to have a bunch of these kids coming to him for justification of, of things that they're doing on their scooter. And that's exactly what I did. 
I went to James, I went to the people at Scooter Zone, um, and, and they're the ones that fed my fuel. I think that my purpose is being fulfilled because of Scooter Zone and because of James. Without them, I probably would have quit a long time ago. I don't think that uh, I would have stayed hungry. I think that different things that I was kind of aspiring to be would have been crushed really, really early on um, because I wouldn't have had the kind of friendship that I gained there and that kind of mentorship and leadership that James has shown me and many other people throughout the world. Um, so I want to sit here and from the bottom of my heart say thank you to Scooter Zone. Uh, you, you have done so much for me and the fact that I can now give back to the community through that is something that warms my heart. And I'm, I'm just so excited to share everything with all of you. And I did want to say a huge thanks to Scooter Zone for all that it has done for me up to this point. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? 13 years is it's a massive part of my life. But most of all, I want to say thank you to James for being that mentor and being that leader for me and teaching me so much, not only just about scootering, but about so many different aspects in life. Just being there for people that didn't necessarily have something uh, at home or, or something to aspire to. You fed them and you made them realize that it is possible. Much love James, much love Scooter Zone, much love to everybody that's watching this video, and I can't wait to share all this with you.